Hey guys, so this is Darcy, that one artist from Instagram, and I finally got around to making a YouTube. So now I can post videos that last longer than 15 seconds. Um, that'll be really convenient. And I plan to post tutorials, challenges, and I don't even know yet. It's just right now I'm just kind of taking it one video at a time. And yeah, I'm kind of getting used to speaking out loud to myself alone in a room to an iPad. So if I sound awkward on this recording, then that's why. I decided to kick off this YouTube channel with a video of me drawing, just a little sketch. Um, it took me about 25-30 minutes to do. But I condensed it so it wouldn't be too long and boring for you because I'm just going to be talking the whole time. But yeah, I thought I would um, give you a few tips and just let you see how I draw. As you saw in the beginning, I just started it off um, sketching out the basic form of the body. You know, circle for the head, circles for the shoulders. And it was a really rough sketch, but then... After that, I filled in the lines where the head should go and um, the shoulders and the neck. And then I drew little guidelines for the face. I'm sure you've seen that before. I don't always do that, but it does help um, once in a while. And it'll definitely help you if you're starting out. So I would suggest doing that for now until you get more experienced at proportions and especially facial proportions. So for the hair, I usually just make it up as I go. It usually ends up being some sort of wave and long bangs. Um, I don't know why, I just got into the habit of doing that. And now I'm starting to color the skin. Um, I always... The, the way I do skin is usually I start in the darkest places first and kind of outline it a little bit. And then I move into the light spots and then smooth it down with my fingers. I also use a lot of different colors for the skin. And yes, my pencil is broken. I had to push it back in. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that you really need to run an eraser over your pencil drawing before you start coloring. Just leave light guidelines on it to know where to color. Leaving the pencil markings on there without erasing them, unless it was really light pencil, could interfere with your coloring. Um, if you blend it with a blender, it would make it a little muddy, especially around the corners where the pencil was, and you don't really want that in your drawing. I mean, do whatever you want. Who am I to tell you how to draw, you know? Because art is our own, like, we all have our own style. But I'm just giving you tips on what my experience has been and what I do for my drawings. So if any of my lovely Instagram followers are hearing my voice right now, I'm just going to do a fun little experiment. Um, if you watch this video, then go type the word pancake on any of my drawings. I know it's random, it's what I just randomly came up with, but... It'll be fun to see how many people actually watch this. Also, please leave requests either on the comments here or in the comments on one of my pictures on Instagram um, for videos that you want to see because I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do next. So I'd love to hear some ideas that you guys have. So hit me up with challenges. Give me drawing requests for tutorials. Um, I don't know, just... Use your imagination. Whatever you want to see on here, I might try it if you ask, but obviously you have to ask first. So go in one of those places and please leave a comment. I know I want to do some kind of Q&A video in the near future, and you'll probably hear more about that on Instagram. Also, I really want to try something on Ashley Picanso's channel. I probably butchered that name, but it's called the Lucky Dip Art Challenge. Basically, she pulls out a few random art supplies from a big box with her eyes closed and draws a picture with them. Actually, it's more like a masterpiece because she's very, very talented.
I'm using a white pencil to go over this because it dulls the colors a little bit, for lack of a better word, and they don't look as awkward on the face. And also, it gives it a more natural look because it smooths it down, and obviously I'm not going for realism, but I still do like my coloring to be smooth. Some people have asked me what colored pencils I use, and I always use Prismacolor pencils. They're really awesome. You can blend them very well. They're very soft. I've actually never tried Faber-Castell. I hear they're also good, but a lot of people have said that Prismacolor pencils are better, so I've just kind of stuck with them, though I would like to try Faber-Castell sometime. Now I'm just doing little touch-ups to make it look a little bit more contrasty and to pop out more matting shadows in the hair and whatnot. Um, it just makes the drawing look a lot better altogether. I usually end up using some dark color like brown or purple for shadows or something like blue. Um, try to avoid using black because it'll make your drawing look flat and the other colors add more depth to it. I'll probably make a video on color theory later so I can give you guys a few more tips on stuff along those lines. I'm using black here just a little bit because it does help in your drawing but you cannot use too much. As I said, it'll make it look flat. But usually I use it for the pupils and the eyelashes and maybe even for some shadows but I use it very sparingly and I'm getting a little bit behind here but that white gel pen I just used I love it so much because if you mess up on white paper you can go over it obviously you can't mess up too much but if you you know get outside the lines a little bit you can go over it with a white gel pen and I always use it for highlights in the eye and um, on the lips and this one I'm using is called Jelly Roll, and it's pretty awesome. I haven't tried any others, but I like the quality of this one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I promise I will be getting better at video making and talking on video. And I hope you're as excited as I am for what's going to happen next. Shout